Recombinant human interleukin-2, RIL-2, is an immunotherapeutic drug used to treat patients with cancer. However, a major limitation to the clinical utility of IL-2 is its significant systemic side effects, such as vascular leak syndrome, VLS, and pulmonary edema observed with high-dose systemic administration of IL-2. It could also trigger immune suppression by inducing development of regulatory T-cells, Treg cells, instead of performing its desired immunity-enhancing function. Efforts to reduce these complications associated with IL-2 encouraged scientists at Lemonex to develop a locally injectable drug delivery method. They combined a system of porous nanoparticles called degradable and IL-2, producing Balkine-2, an IL-2-loaded nanoparticle. The newly formulated Balkine-2 can be locally injected, both subcutaneously and peritumorally, and forms a drug depot at the injection site, reducing the systemic circulation and corresponding side effects of IL-2. Impressively, pharmacokinetic study of Balkine-2 performed in Sinomolgus monkeys showed that systemic exposure to IL-2 was significantly minimized in the Balkine-2 group compared to the group injected with conventional IL-2. The minimized systemic exposure of Balkine-2 led to remarkable reduction of systemic side effects such as VLS and pulmonary edema. Subcutaneous Balkine-2 injections significantly increased the half-life of IL-2 in the tumor, as well as increased recruitment of tumor-infiltrating lymphocytes, TILs, and enhanced their ability to kill cancer cells in the tumor without activating immunosuppressive Treg cells. In addition, Balkine-2 can be dispersed to secondary lymphoid organs after being taken up by dendritic cells, where it promotes proliferation and activation of T-cells and NK cells, followed by systemic immunotherapeutic effects. Thus, peritumorally injected Balkine-2 stimulates systemic anti-tumor immunity in addition to local immunity around the tumor. Additionally, Peritumorally injected Balkine-2 more efficiently reduced tumorigenesis and metastasis than conventional systemic IL-2 administration, showing greater synergy with anti-PD-1 antibody in B16F10 melanoma animal models. Balkine-2 was shown to require a less rigorous dosing schedule of 4 injections when compared with 20 injections of conventional IL-2 to achieve a satisfactory treatment outcome thereby allowing lower medical costs and better patient compliance. Overall, the findings of this study suggest that Balkine 2 could provide a promising and highly advantageous clinical option for combinational cancer immunotherapy with immune checkpoint inhibitors.